So, you know, that's bad news. But the good news is that this Clitoria species is growing quite well, despite the lack of water, considering this is an Amazon tree. And it usually grows very well in, in humid climate. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Ego Forestry Academy channel. Today, I'm going to give you an update on the growth of a species of tree called Sombrero in Portuguese. It's, uh, it's a legume. The scientific name, I'm going to write it down here. It's Clitoria Fairchildiana. And I made a video a while back ago showing how, how I was planting that tree from deep pots. I produced the seedlings and, and I planted it in my systems because there was this plot that lacked a lot of trees, which is this one. I have a lot of bananas, but the trees that I planted from seed didn't really sprout so well. So I had a, a lack of, of trees to be pruned. So I came with these seedlings and, and planted them. Now it's been, I'm not sure how long it's been. I think it's probably been like 10 months or so, but I'm gonna check check it uh, and, and I'm gonna write down the date here properly. So I wanna show you the growth of the tree in that time. It has rained very little for the past 11 months. I mean, for the past, not 11, for the past nine months, we've had less than 200 millimeters of rain. So it's really dry. You can see the banana plants, they're suffering a lot because of this. So I'm not expecting any, any significant banana production for this year. In fact, the bananas are all attacked by that, uh, that beetle that, lays eggs on on its corm. I don't know how you guys call that beetle in English, but then it produces a larvae and the larvae just eats through the and produces these galleries inside the, the the banana rhizome. So I'm really not expecting any significant production this year. Uh, I'm unable to irrigate at the moment. Um, so you know that's bad news, but the good news is that this Clitoria species is growing quite well despite the lack of water considering this is an amazon tree and it usually grows very well in in humid climates but over here it's, it's there's no water and it's growing significantly well of course there are trees and trees some of them just they just took to the place very well and they've grown like this one here which is almost my size looks very beautiful um, there are a couple more here, like this one, you know, same thing, where is it, yeah, it's almost my size, um, well, this is an avocado, so, <laughs> but it looks pretty nice, despite the lack of rain, let me change the camera so that you guys can see, and then we have this one, which didn't grow so well, apparently, it's, it's growing, but a lot slower, uh, this one is obviously a lot bigger, it's the one that I just showed you, this goes to show you the importance of planting in abundance. Look at this one. It's also smaller. This one is already a bit bigger. You know, the seedlings were all the same size, or mostly the same size when I planted them. But some of them just uh, grow faster. What can I say? That's just genetics. Let's see a few other. There's this one over here. Also kind of small. This one is already a bit bigger. There you go. So, you know, these plants are probably like 10 months old or so without rain. So that's a pretty uh, acceptable and reasonable growth. 
So this is a tree that I, I, I really recommend you guys getting a hold of if you can. It grows very well by seed, so you can direct seed it. Um, ow, my head. I always hit my head there. Um, there are some others that also over here in a different row. It, uh, you can see this one's a lot smaller. There is another one here which just didn't grow at all. Look, I thought it was dead, but now it's apparently trying to to come back. So I hope it does. Uh, but as I was saying, you can grow it directly from seed. The seed is somewhat big, so you know it's easy to plant. And really, for for you guys who live in a tropical climate. In a, like a tropical humid climate it's a no-brainer you have to have it and even if you are in a subhumid climate you should also uh, plant it the only place I wouldn't plant it is like really like semi-desertic semi like in a semi-desert so otherwise it's definitely a groovy plant to have around and i'm going to show you the first ones that i had here which these came from seed when i was first starting out this plot which is uh which was two years ago i think and they've already been pruned once or twice and you can see that here they are they look pretty nice i wish i had one of these every meter or so if I had that, this place would look completely different because like I said, I had a lot of problems here with um, with getting trees established. Many of the trees I was counting on, they didn't sprout or they uh, sprouted very poorly. So thus you can see that the systems here, you know, this is two years old and I have banana plants and the, some big trees, but not many. You know, there are a few here that managed to grow, but at this moment, I really wish I had uh, a lot more established trees. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Some of them here, for example, this one is, uh, it's called the uh, Vilon. You, you've heard me talk about it a lot, but it's just grown very, very slowly. And one of the things I attribute it to is that when I started out here I had a uh, like one year of very severe drought and I couldn't irrigate so much so probably many trees sprouted and I remember a lot of them were sprouting but then they probably died out afterwards when they couldn't get a uh, enough water um, and also some of the species that I was counting on although they do well with the climate here there's slightly more demanding in calcium and I didn't give them enough so yeah I think I just needed to improve my my first fertilizing fertilizers quantity a little bit but anyway they're growing so remember Clitoria Fairchildiana it's an amazing plant the it's a secondary species so i would say a secondary of secondary two that means it's a secondary of a medium life cycle it's probably gonna can live in your system for 15 years or so um 10 to 15 years and it's it's a species that occupies the high stratum so that's pretty good it tolerates heavy pruning it will Resprout readily, and it um, grows really fast. <laughs> and it's a legume which will fix nitrogen, so that's a bonus as well. You're not only going to be producing lots of organic matter, but it's always going to it's also going to be associating with microorganisms that will fix nitrogen, like resorbing species. So that's all very good anyway just wanted to share this update with you 
Um, <laughs> just to finish this video, let me show you the power of prickly pear. Check it out. This is just stuff that I cut and threw here to cover the corridor. It's all sprouting. I'm just using it as a mat so I can just step on it. I really don't care if it grows or not. I want it for organic matter. <laughs> but anyway, it goes to show that prickly pear is quite an amazing plant. Um, it's probably even producing roots, not really, just sprouting from its reserves. Some of them have roots. Anyway, that's today's video. Go after Clitoria Fairchildiana. Don't, don't, don't forget the name. Uh, it's quite an amazing plant. So that's what I have for you today. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out our full agroforestry course. You can check it out here in this link. I'm gonna put a card here. We have 25 lessons. So they get acquainted with all of the concepts that we're talking about here, you know, stratification of species, succession of species. And that's that. If you want to take a step further and support the channel, you can join us in our Patreon community and get access to some extra material. Uh, you get early access to our, all of our videos and also get to participate in our monthly Q&A which is exclusive for our Patreons. Uh, people can watch the q and in the YouTube channel, but if you want to really participate in it and send in your questions, you got to be a member of the community. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm Felipe for the Agroforestry Academy, and I'm signing out.